Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16 on Kali Linux. The process is same for all Kali Linux versions. Open terminal, then run the command sudo apt get install PostgreSQL-16. This is the command used to install PostgreSQL 16. If you want to install 15, you have to replace 6 with 5. If you want to install 14, replace 5 with 4. So, the latest version of PostgreSQL server at the time of making this video is 16. So, give 16 and hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. See, it requires this much space. So, type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed PostgreSQL 16. Let's verify. Ctrl L to clear screen. sudo system ctl status PostgreSQL hit enter. See, we have installed PostgreSQL but it is not started and it is disabled. Let's start it. sudo System CTL start PostgreSQL and hit enter. We have started. Let's verify. See, PostgreSQL services started, and but still the service is still disabled, which means whenever Kali Linux restarts, we have to manually start the PostgreSQL service. So, to avoid that scenarios, we are going to enable the PostgreSQL service by using the same sudo system ctl enable PostgreSQL. See, it has created a sim link. Now verify. See, it is started and enabled. Now let's connect to PostgreSQL server sudo su hyphen postgres it is postgres psql we have connected to postgresql by using psql tool let's verify the version of the postgresql install select version See, we have installed PostgreSQL 16 on Kali Linux. That is the latest one. Control L to clear screen. After connecting to PostgreSQL, the first and most important step is we have to set the password for super user. That is Postgres. So, let's verify the list of the users. See, this is the only user which comes with PostgreSQL installation. So, also it is super user. So we have to set the password for this user. Command is alter user postgres with password admin whatever it may be. We have successfully set the password. So now create a user. Create user James with password whatever the password you like you gave okay now verify the users see we have one user added and this is the super user but this user doesn't don't have any roles or attributes suppose if you don't want to allow this user to log in to the postgresql server or give alter user then username no login again verify see this user cannot log in control l to play screen now verify list of the databases 
see we have three databases postgres template 0 and template 1 if this output is not readable format go to quit then select that name from pg underscore database see we have three databases let's create a database create database auto schools again run the same above command see new database has been added suppose if you want to create a table in this database we have to switch to this database by using the command that is forward slash c whatever the command starts with forward slash are called as meta commands so forward slash then database name here database name is art schools now we have switched to art schools database whatever the actions create before that verify list of the tables in this database see we don't have any tables so create table create table student s name int s name where care 30 we have created it table let's verify again see we have created a table let's insert some data into this table insert into student values this typo again insert one more record select star from student see we have inserted two rows or tuples or records so if you want to quit from this psql shell give the forward slash and q again exit from this user suppose if you want to stop the postgresql service use the command sudo systemctl stop postgresql we have stopped it let's verify systemctl status see it is inactive or dead we have stopped it 22 seconds ago so again start it again again verify see we have successfully started post sql service if you want to restart just replace this stop with again verify see, okay we have started post sql service so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgresql 16 version on kali linux 2022 or 2023 for more postgresql server or kali linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you